Hello, our most valid student. My name is Confident. Welcome to our revision session of simultaneous equations. And in this section, I want to show you two methods that you can use in solving simultaneous equations. These are important equations for you. And let us dive into the lesson. Now, let, let us look at a typical exam question. It says, um, as, as I said, the topic says two ways of solving simultaneous equations or simultaneous equations. Um, example here says solve for x and y in the following equations algebraically. So what we're given here are the two equations. Whenever we're talking about simultaneous equations, we are talking about two equations which you need to solve at the same time. So what we have here is the equation x minus 6y is equal to 32. This is your equation 1. So if I can write it, it's x minus 6y is equal to 32. As I said, uh, this you write it as equation 1 like that. And then what you have is x plus 5. 5y is equal to 12. This becomes your equation 2. So these are the equations and you need to find the value of x and the value of y. So I'm going to start with the first method and the first method I'm going to call it the elimination method. So when we use the elimination method, what we do is we have to eliminate either x or either y. So what you do is you study the two equations. The first one is uh, x minus 6y is equal to 32, means there is a 1x minus 6y is equal to 32. And the second equation again is 1x plus 5y is equal to 30, is equal to 12. So you can see that there is 1x and 1x that is repeating in both equations. So what I can do, I can just uh, eliminate this particular 1x. So what I do, you rule off and you take equation 1 and equation 2. As you can see already, they are arranged. You st it starts with x followed by y is equal to a number. Again, it starts with x followed by a y is equal to a number. So it is arranged in a way that is um, matching. So, and we have 1x and 1x. Once we have one of the variables matching, it's already done for us. So what you need to do is you need to subtract. In this case, what you are subtracting is equation 1 from equation 2. So what you'll be having here is more you're saying 1x minus 6y is equal to 32 minus 1x plus 5y is equal to 12. But how do you write that? You write it as, so the first one is 1x minus 1x. So it's 1x minus 1x. And where am I taking that from? It's this particular 1x minus this particular 1x. And then secondly, it's minus 6y minus plus 5y. So it's minus 6y. It's minus 6y minus 6y because the positive does not have power. So I will have again minus 6y minus 5y and then equal to again you repeat the same stage which is in this case 32 minus 12. So when you do that so you can see that 1x minus 1x that's why it's called elimination because we have eliminated in this case uh, the x variable. So it's 1x minus 1x, which will give you a 0. And then you are left only with y, which is minus 6y minus 5y. If you use a calculator, you will get negative 11y is equal to. Now, um, as I said, it is minus 6 minus 5 is negative 11. And 32 minus 12, it gives me a 20. So now for me to find y, remember it's 11 times y, I have to divide both sides by negative 11. What I do on the left, I do on the right by negative 11, such that 
this cancels and I have got my y is equal to minus 20 over 11. So that is the value of y that I have. And then what I need to do is to now find the value of x. I can take any of the equations. For example, let's say from equation 1. If I say 1 meaning I'm from equation 1, I have x minus 6y is equal to 32. Now remember, in this case, we have the value of y. We have y is equal to um, negative 20 over 11. So where there is y, I'll put negative 20 over 11. So I will have then x minus 6 bracket negative 20 over 11, which is the value of y that you got, is equal to 32. And then what you do, you have to then use um, your calculator in this stage to find that uh, what you simplify in this part to say minus 6 minus 11. I mean minus 20 over 11. So minus 6 in bracket negative 20 over 11. And when you simplify that, it gives you 120 over 11 so we're getting plus 120 over 11 and then is equal to 32 then what you need to do you need to take this number here it's positive so you need to make it jump the equal sign so that it can join 32 so what we have then will be x is equal to 32 minus, because it was positive, minus 120 over 11. And then it will then give you um, the value in this case of x, so that you have got x is equal to, in this case, uh, is 32 minus 120 over 11. And the answer will be 232 over 11. So this is the value of x and y and sometimes it is good to write it in coordinate form so that you can write it as the value of x It's x is to y. So in this case what you'll be having is x is 232 over 11 and y is minus 20 over 11. So these are the solution of this equation using the elimination method. So you can test this if you want to. Remember, if we go to the original equation, um, let me try to, all right, that is fine. Let's go to the original equation and try to now substitute. So what you do, you are testing it in equation one, where there is x here, you put the value of x and then where there is y, you put the value of y. Now, remember the value of x, we said it was 232 over 11. So in here, I'm going to put 232 over 11. Let me use a different marker. Um, I have 232 over 11 for my x. For my y, I have minus 20 over 11. I do the same thing on the equation 2. It's important to do both equations. It's 232 over 11 and then on y I have minus 20 over 11. So the left hand side has to balance with the right hand and right, I mean right hand side. So let's start with the first equation. If I put the first one is 232 over 11 then I'll say minus 6 into negative fraction 20 over 11. This, when I solve it, it must give me 32. You can see that the first one is correct. Let us try the second one. The second one is x, which is 232 over 11 plus 5. y and y is negative 20 over uh, 11 and when you do that you are going to get 12 which it agrees with, with with the right hand side so now what you can see is 
both values of x and y are in a way uh, agreeing with the two equations they are balancing therefore it means our answer is correct so this was called the as i said it is called the substitution method now let us look at method two where we are going to take the same equation x minus 6y is equal to 32 if i can write it down here so this is method two so now what we call method two we call method two substitution method so the first one was called elimination this method is called substitution so i will take x minus 6y is equal to 32 that's the first equation x minus 6y is equal to 32 this we called it equation 1 and then equation 2 is x plus 5y is equal to 12 so now this is equation 2 so this is what we have as you can see we have to then use this method of um, substitution what we do is we can choose either equation 1 or equation 2 the one that is easier to make x or y the subject of the formula so you can see that if i look at x there is already um, x that i can remain with in equation 1 i could have done also the same with equation 2 but let me focus on equation 1 now from 1 here I can say from equation 1 remember I've got x minus 6y is equal to 32 so what I can do is I can take this particular 6y to join 32 remember when it jump, jumps the equal sign it changes sign so that I will only remain with x being the subject so it will be equal to 32 from negative 6y it will be plus 6y this then gives me equation 3 so what i do then with equation 3 i take this particular equation 3 and substitute it into equation 2 so i will say equation um equation of uh, 3 into Two. So what I do, I take equation 2, and remember equation 2 is x plus 5y is equal to 12. Now I know the value of, um, in this case, I know the value of x, and the value of uh, x is that one. So wherever there is this value is the one that I'm going to put in that particular space. So where there is an x, I will write now. 32 if I can just show you um, with this remember this is my x which is 32 plus 6y that was my x plus 5y is equal to 12 I hope you see now how I did substitute that so now with that in mind what I have if I can just take it back to the top so what I have now is you can see that I've got in here is 32 and I have 6y plus 5y on one side so that's what I'm going to remain with which will be 6y uh, plus 5y in this case so it's 6y plus 5y is equal to then the 32 I will make it join the number there which is 12 and it jumps the equal sign so it will become 12 minus 32 because it was positive now it will become negative now 6 plus 5 is 11 y is equal to then you've got um, 12 minus 32 which is I think is negative 20 so you've got that which is minus 20 if you divide 11 y you want to remove 11 from y so 11 y is multiplying so you divide which is the opposite of multiplication you divide by 11 so you have got 
your y is equal to negative 20 over 11. So this is the value of y here. Then what you do, you go to equation, uh, back to say equation, we're back to equation 3. Now in equation 3, we said x was equal to 32 plus 6y. So now we know the value of y. So wherever there is y here, that's what we're going to put to say um, it is going to be that substitution there. So we've got x is equal to 32 plus 6 into negative 20 over 11. I'm now substituting. That's why they call it the substitution method because where there is x, you substitute with y. And after getting the value of y, I substitute that value of y into x. Now, when I solve that with my calculator, uh, I always prefer to rely on the calculator here. It's 32 plus 6 into negative 20 over 11. So when you do that, you get the value of y, which is 232 over, I mean of x, which is 232 over 11. Now, this is my value of x. Now, if you can compare the answers that we got, y is minus 20 over 11 is the same answer that we got here to say minus 20 over 11 and x is 232 over 11, which is the same value that we got. So you can see that two methods can be used to solve the simultaneous equations. The first one is the substitute as the elimination that we did. And the second one here, it is the substitution method. I hope this was of benefit to you. Remember guys, to, uh, I'll be doing actually uh, another lesson, I think two or three more lessons. So this is part one of uh, sim simultaneous equations. I will encourage you to check again the second equation, I mean the second lesson, where I demonstrate further how you can get more familiar with these two methods. And then I'll do again a third lesson that will now solidify and cement your understanding of simultaneous equations. I will encourage you also to subscribe to our channel. And if you want more resources on your mathematics, whether you're doing N1, N2, N3, grade 8, grade 9, grade 10, grade 11, and grade 12, you can um, get more information on our website, which is www.24minute.co.za. We have come to the end of our lesson. Remember to subscribe so that you can be notified wherever we uh, submit some new videos. Thank you.